tutorial on the whitewater rescue board game. It'll help you get started and get set up so you're good to go. First step is get your boards down, three wide, two high, and then choose what watercraft you want to be. So choose a player card and it has a picture of the watercraft. Get your boat that matches that player card. Put it on the first column of spaces on the board. And once you've done that, and all the players have their boats there, go ahead and choose some gear cards. You're going to choose five gear cards. And this is a cooperative game, so spread your gear out amongst the five of you. You know, don't everybody, don't choose all of one thing. And once you've got your gear cards, you've, had, you've looked at your player cards, read the game guide because that's really going to help. Um, you can play making it up, but the game's not going to work so well. We've got, we're all set up to go. So, the board itself, you've got yellow spaces, and that uh, crossing over a yellow space or landing on a yellow space means you pick up a good day, bad day card. And then read the back, and it tells you what to do. It could be good and it could be bad. You have some spaces with red diamonds on them. You have a wave, it's got a red diamond, and it's not outlined in red. A wave doesn't sound bad, um, but it's a way to lose your boat really quickly if you don't make it through the wave. How do you know if you've made it through? You see the number on the space, you roll the dice. The number you roll on the dice has to be greater than this number, plus or minus whatever the player factor number is here. Uh, so if you don't make it through a wave, you uh, swim and you lose your boat. It's gone for the rest of the game. Uh, so let's say you're heading down the river and you hit a hole that has a red circle around it. When you hit the hole, you roll the red dice. If you roll a number that's higher than the red number here, plus or minus your number on your player card, uh, if it's higher than that, you get to move out one space. When you move out one space, you don't pick up another chance card. Um, it's just like a default moving out. If you didn't roll a number that was higher, you're stuck in a hole. You lose one gear card, it's discarded. Next turn around, you do the same thing, roll your dice. If it's not higher, you lose two gear cards. And you move out by default. On that second turn, if you had rolled a number that was higher, you would just move out by default. You don't lose any gear cards on that second turn. So that's, oh, and the, the one last thing before you even get started, this question comes up a lot. The swimmer, a little gray swimmer, to start the game, the swimmer is placed in a purple space on the middle boards. So I'm just gonna place it right there. These purple spaces uh, are something to avoid because to get the swimmer or a boat out of a purple space, the other players in the group need to play gear cards. And so I would check the back of my player card and it tells me what gear cards that the group needs to play to get this boat out. And so it could be three gear cards, in which case, you know, one from there, one from this player, and maybe one from over on this player. Those gear cards are gone. So as you go down, if you're hitting a lot of purple spaces, you're losing gear cards. If you can't rescue somebody out of a purple space, the game's over. The objective of the game is to get all your boats and the swimmer, who you're, you're gonna rescue, to a pathway. Everybody has to get to the same pathway. They could get to the top, 
the top or the bottom of the A pathway, but it's got to be the same pathway. And uh, yeah, that's kind of the way it goes. Uh, if you, oh, I have one little tip here that sometimes doesn't occur to people. If you uh, had two boats side by side, you can abandon your boat if you want. Boats out of the game. This boat now moves each on each of these players' turns. So the yellow player, um, their turn comes around, it moves the three spaces. And then when it's the orange player's turn, it also moves three spaces. So it's a way to move your boat quite quickly. Same thing happens if you picked up a swimmer and you rescue the swimmer, and now you've got two people in the craft and it moves a lot faster. All right, well, the last thing I can say is look at the inside of the box. There's some pro tips in here that uh, will give you a bit better edge uh, on the river. And I hope you make it. Hope you enjoy the game.